video, I want to talk a little bit about interpreting your own pieces or interpreting other people's compositions. So as we know, in classical music, for instance, it's more common to interpret other people's compositions and to even perform them on stage. Whereas in flamenco, it's a little bit more delicate, right? So I think the reason behind that is that when you, when in classical music, let's say, when they want to perform a certain piece uh, in a concert, they study, let's say, the piece note by note. It's already all written and they try to achieve, of course, perfection on stage exactly as they learned it. Right. In flamenco, it's a little bit different. Right. As you see, even from Paco de Lucia, let's say if you listen to Paco's music, Entre los Aguas or even the Bulerias or whichever piece it is, if you notice that he never played the same piece exactly the same, two times the same way, right? So my point is that flamenco has a lot of improvisation inside. So if you, let's say, even if you want to go, uh, if you're accompanying in a peña, let's say there are many singers, many guitarists, and then if you're accompanying the singing there, the singer finishes the letter, and then you are free to try to start your falsetta in the middle. Nothing is planned. You might be able to and you might not be able to. Maybe somebody else starts singing and then you, you didn't have your chance to do it. No. And then after they finish, you might try again and then it might work. You might start doing your own, your falsetta, let's say. And sometimes the falsetta is not even planned. It's not even composed. It's just all improvisation. No. So I think it all came out from there, from doing from improvising a lot all the time, many times like this, until they find their own style, until they find their own sound and all that. This is why uh, people tend to a little bit criticize more in flamenco if they are doing their own stuff, their own material or not. In classical, it's not as much, right? So now what should you do? Should you interpret your own pieces? Should you start composing or should you interpret other people's pieces? Where, what should you do? Here is something very, very depending on your goal. What do you want to achieve, right? What's your objective in playing flamenco guitar? Do you want it professionally? You want to become somebody famous who has their own compositions and you want to be well known for your style or do you want to just do it as a hobby just for fun? These, this is very important. Or if you want to go for competitions, let's say you might have that in mind. You want to go to, for competitions in, in Spain or wherever. It really varies and it really depends on the person. Now, let's say you want to do it professionally. You want to have your own. If you want to have your own style, your own style, then obviously you have to start composing, of course. Whereas if you want to do it for a hobby, let's say uh, you can do it just for fun. You can play other people's music just to, to enjoy the sound of the guitar and all that. Or even some people like to do it as a hobby to even compose. Now, my recommendation, if you want to compose, whether it's professionally or just for as a hobby, before doing that, I highly recommend to listen to, to pieces, especially the old traditional pieces of flamenco. I would recommend, let's say, like we all know, Paco de Lucia, no? The old pieces he has, like Plaza Alta, the Soleá, for example, or let's say La Barrosa, or it could be Guajiras de Lucia if you want to do some Guajiras or Iris de Linares for Taranta. No. So these type of old pieces are highly recommended to listen to them, analyze them and play them. Try to play them, try to learn them, because no matter how much you listen to the song or you see the fingerings of a song from Paco's playing, you will never really understand exactly what he's doing until you just play it. Really, that I learned from experience a lot. Like, I think I know what's going on. I think I know I can see it. But then when I play it, I see other stuff that I didn't see while just playing. OK, so why you should do that is if you want to compose well, if you want to compose, you need to know what is the falsetta structure? What? How is it going to be? Where is it going? If you want to put the cadence, if you want to do some other part of the falsetta, how is it going to go? The structure of the falsetta, where is the remate? Where is the compass part? What did he do differently in this compass than the other compass? These type of small details will help you so much by learning the piece. It doesn't have to be like perfectly playing like Paco to, to just understand that. It could be just trying to play the chords or to, to play the piece itself, really, 
and you will see more and you will understand more what's happening there and then you can try or you can start to apply it on your own piece your own compositions this is highly recommended really before you do your own pieces so that your pieces will make more sense and will be just better in general no so that would be all for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope to see you next time in the next video cheers